Okay, the next one is a bit simple, I think. So I'm going to close this over there. You should save all your your different components. Uh, you should save also these components. I'm just going to delete this option. By the way, uh, you could just load it into the project. Um, and I haven't uh, override the materials, so. But if you load it into your project, even if it takes time, you just can very easily um, get extract plans and sections out of this. No. I uh, remember the importance of working always with a clear origin point so whatever mass you want to do as should be always in relation to the building you're doing no? so there is uh, remember also to I probably need to to clean the line so you can just go to a massing inside and turn off the massing so you only have the the modules there and you can go to the levels to see the sections happening okay Good. Um, also in section, obviously, you can just create a section. And you can change the boundaries of what you're seeing. And that will be pretty much section. Obviously, this is an outrageous scale, so it doesn't make any sense. Uh, so that's why a relationship between your project, the real project, um, and the mass, and therefore the modules should be properly set beforehand. No? Okay, let's imagine, let's close everything here, that we want to do a bit more of a simple option here. So I'm just going to save that as the conceptual mass facade one. I'm going to load into the project. And delete the old one. And go to the 3D. This is what we get. And this is a conceptual mass. The, the warning that it was delivering before is actually saying you cannot create floors out of this. Well, it's okay. We know we cannot create floors because we want it for a facade. No? So we have used often the floor, the wall, and the roof, but we haven't used much the current system, so I want to talk very fast about it. If you declare current system, you can select a face. Probably before that, you want to duplicate the current system and call it your, your own, no? curtain system. Uh, and you can call it like, you know, um, south facade. I'm going to declare it as none, uh, no grids, meaning it's just going to be a flat thing. And I'm going to say OK and select that phase, create system. So what happens here, this is actually the current system, this flat thing. If I go to shade it, you will see it. This blue thing, it's the curtain system. Since there's no grids associated, it's not, be, it's not being able to understand that curvature. So the way it works is similar to any curtain system now. It's like declaring grids and mullions, no? So if you declare grids, you can place them one by one on the face, as you can see, both horizontal and vertically. Okay, you can select one and it starts understanding the curvature. Without grid, there's no, again, that kind of a curvature because it's always straight panels, okay? Okay, at, there's a point where you can even go to massing inside and turn off the massing because you really don't need it anymore, no? You can say current grid more and you can say one segment and go between them. Start declaring segments between the segments. You can say all except the pick one, or you can continue with the large options. 
and every time you click it fills or it's actually like cutting the glass and adding resolution to the pieces the smaller they are the nice well the nicer the better you're going to follow that curvature no uh, so obviously the first thing that we can think about here is well this it's difficult to construct how big is this panel can I construct this can I ask uh, you know a manufacturer to say to give me this size of a glass panel most probably no is the answer and then you're gonna have to start subdividing and create emollients in between to hold that properly a curtain wall no uh, you can also set mullions now and start using all the grid lines and select or you can go one by one or different segments no for example all grid lines allows you to select whatever type of of uh, mullion type you want and here's where the previous video on new, on your own family of mullions is good you, you will find it here if you do follow that same process okay I'll select all and that's good obviously we can start zooming in and seeing well that doesn't look bad entirely but let's start checking what's happening here for example and you see how the glass panel is entirely separated from the mullion also this mullion is a bit thin we most probably won't be able to hold that panel uh, whatever happens you clearly this is a wrong doing in Revit meaning you think you're done because it looks good but you zoom in and you start seeing all these problems um, this is more of a seeing Revit with a critical eye we need to be a bit more um, you know asking more for Revit you know what are the it's not going to solve all our problems in life okay so let's go back with that Again, I did select grids one by one, but I, you could have said edit type and change here this, the grid setup, like say uh, fixed distance of 10, fixed distance, and set the mullions here if you want a more regular option. No? You could change the mullions for the border, which are the out. Uh, the ones that are in the perimeter of the entire curtain wall. It's going to take long. It has to make the cut to the glass, incorporate mullions of different sizes, and understand distance for each of those uh, grids. No? This distance could be related to the distance between your slab. It could be like you divide by two that factor and then it's aligned to the slab. The mullions could be the ones that you created in your mullion family and they could have like a slight detail for solar uh, exposure. Taking long. I'm going to stop the video here. Um, you're going to just be able to see how, how it works.